So I did not get an apprenticeship. I'm actually self-taught. So before I started tattooing, there was actually nothing that connected me to the tattoo industry. My family did not have any tattoos. My friends didn't have any tattoos. I was not interested in tattoos and I never seen how a tattoo was done. Back then what I used to do is I had a small parking spot at this family where I was airbrushing t-shirts, airbrushing sweaters, hats. But there was this one night where I was watching the annual World of Dads competition. I finished watching the competition and on the related videos on YouTube, I saw this one guy tattooing a rose. I clicked on it because I was interested in seeing how a tattoo was done. Five minutes later, I was so intrigued that I went on eBay and I bought a tattoo kit for $60. I got it the next day and I was excited. I opened up that suitcase and there was four machines with tattoo ink, needles, metal tubes. I immediately called my best friend's cousin. I told him, hey, do you want a tattoo? He shows up, he says, I want my mom's name right here. Then I grabbed this pen. I freehanded his mom's name on his chest and I went to town. I took a picture of the tattoo and then I went on Facebook, I posted it and all my friends started just messaging me, hey, I want to get a tattoo from you. And I started tattooing my friends for fun. I wasn't charging anything. But then I started hearing from different people that I should get an apprenticeship. So I started looking all over the city for in different shops trying to look for an apprenticeship. I got rejected in every single one. But there was this one shop that I still remember until today. And I was prepared. I had my drawings. I had my pictures of my airbrushing work. Then the owner turns back calls everybody that look at my portfolio, they start cracking up, they start laughing. And it's not one of those, it's funny kind of laugh. It was like evil kind of laugh. The owner gets serious, looks at me and tells me, you better get the fuck out of this shop. This is so disrespectful. How dare you compare airbrushing to tattoos? And he kicked me out. So I went home and I was like, you know, that's not gonna stop me. I'm just gonna hustle. So in the morning, I had a part-time job at an Italian restaurant. Right after that, I would call up my friends to get tattoos so I could keep practicing. And in the evening, I would do some airbrushing work that I was working on for clients. And on the weekends, I was at the swap meet airbrushing. And that was my weekly routine. So I was breathing, eating, living art, you know, cause I wanted to get as much knowledge as fast as I could. Five months later, after practicing and practicing, a friend told me, hey, there's a shop that I go to that sells tattoo machines to anybody because usually tattoo stores, uh, tattoo supply stores, they only sell to shops. So I go to the register with my supplies and the owner asks me, hey, so how long have you been tattooing? I low-key panicked a little bit and I immediately lie and I said, I've been tattooing for a year and a half. The owner looks at my work and he's like, oh, Ty, you have good work. Are you looking for a place to work? Don't remember exactly what I said, but it was along the lines of, you know, I like the vibe here, so I would definitely love to work here. The owner asked me, when can you move in? And I was like, today. <laughs> but I ended up moving the next day. I was just so excited. I was just happy, you know, that I got the opportunity. And that was my ticket in into the industry. And whew, the rest is history.